but they're deep inside Jordan territory, so you know they will go for it at the 11 yard line. So here's another big thing. This would be getting close to the ball game right here. And Gordon could somehow stop with here. Four. And they have to get the eight yard line. It's a long two. The ball is at about the ten and a half yard line. As the Gordon Longhorn fans come to their feet, Gordon has to stop with Harold here. There's a pitch back to Rogers. He may be in trouble, but now he goes back to the middle of the field, cuts back against the green, has the first down to the five yard line. Rogers is another size more is what he is, friends. He was stopped short and they cut back into the middle of the field against the green. I'm impressed. 126 yards on the day today so far for Brandon Rogers on 13 carries. Three touchdowns. Five minutes, 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Whit here will stretch. Pitch back to Rogers. He'll try to carry it in. He's around the corner and knocked out of bounds at about the two yard line. And we have a flag flying all the way across from the end zone. And that's probably not going to be good for Gordon. It's going to be a, no, it's a holding call against Greenhill. The way that flag was thrown and the time at which it was thrown, I had to believe there was some type of infraction on taking Rogers off the field as Gordon drove him out of bounds, but it's a holding call which takes the ball back to the 12-yard line. That's a huge call right there. And that really is. You look at other plays, long Long yardage run, big pass reception, but if you look at that, a big play brought back and, and just inches down here means a lot to the board long board. And that's much better than a big defense play right there. Now we have first and goal from the 12-yard line. Lopez in a tight formation. He goes back to pass. He may be in trouble, gets out of it. That's a receiver and it's incomplete. He was trying to hit number 15, Jason Gilbert-Varney, and that was number 13, Wayne Ray, who put a big hit on Gilbert-Varney, and he could not hold on. He could not hold on. I think he knocked a couple of syllables out of Gilbert-Varney's name right there. And so when Ray comes up, the 135-pound senior made a big hit. And I tell you what, I mean, every play that happens right now is a state championship play when you get down to the red zone. Second and goal to go from the 12. Lopez from a tight formation. Pitches it back to Rogers. Now he has it again. That was the ball off. To number 34, who's back with Kipley. Number 34 is Justin Sullivan. That was a bit of raffle battle as Lopez dumped it back quickly to Rogers on a pitch. Then Rogers gave it back to Lopez, who was racing back into the pocket. And then he threw the ball to Sullivan. But Sullivan was tackled just as quickly as he got it at the line of scrimmage. Now we're getting big. Third and goal to go from the 12 yard line. 444 to go in the state championship game. I can't believe I'm even here. Third and goal from the 12. Lopez in a tight formation. Pitches it back to Rogers. Rogers lost it into the end zone. Touchdown. Into the end zone. Number 15, Jason Dobrovani. Let's see about the extra point. A 12 yard pass from Rogers to Dobravani. The kick is up. And let's see, there's no flags on the play. And it is good. So now we have a 12 point ball game. 15 to 38. Four and a half minutes to go. There's the kickoff. Sizemore will get a chance to return this when he takes it to the field. Let's see what he can do. He's up the middle of the field, breaks out of one tackle, breaks out of another tackle, and gets it up to the midfield stripe at the 40-yard line. Actually, they're going to mark him down at the 39-yard line, and I would not have been wanted to be out there to try to stop Jason Sizemore. He was running with a vengeance. Let him buy and yell this. Possession on the field is exactly what has helped. We're here all day long. And if Gordon can take that and move in their direction right now, when the start of drive off is midfield, that's exactly what you have to do. This is the this is the championship here. Gordon has to score. Four minutes twenty seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Hand off to Sizemore. He's immediately hit in the backfield and almost caught the football up. In fact, he did cough it up, and he hit the ground, and the ground caused the fumble. He loses the yard. Second and 16. 
Clock now under four minutes. And certainly time is a factor for Gordon. They have to score and have to score quickly. 50 to 38, our score. With Harrell, with Harrell on top. Pitch back to Sizemore, looking for a receiver. Lost it deep downfield. And uh, number nine for Gordon fell down at the 15 yard line. He's saying he was tripped by Whit Harrell. The Joko Steele will not get a flag. Brandon Rogers was covering Joe Costilla. I think Costilla just fell down. Yeah, I think he did too. I think he did too. The cloud did, but the cloud did. It looked like he didn't fall down. That might have been a touchdown. Third and 16, and the clock does stop with three minutes, 44 seconds to go. And Costilla has him in the sprint formation with Tom Arena and Sizemore. There's a pitch back to Sizemore. Sizemore looking for someone. Now may run with it. He's in trouble, though. He'll have to go out of bounds. He does go out of bounds inside with Harold Territory at the 34, but that's going to bring out four. Fourth down, and let's Fourth call it about seven yards. And this is the ball game. It's the season. It's the championship. It's everything for the Gordon Longhorns. They have to convert here. Still plenty of time should they get into the end zone. What can happen on an onside kick in six-man football? Who knows? We're going to see you once today with Winfield. Picking up an onside kick. Here we go. Red formation. Longhorns have to convert here. Fourth and seven. Snap back to Sizemore. Pitches it back to Costilla. Now Sizemore falls down. Now Costilla's running for his life. He better get rid of the ball. He's tripped up, and he's going to be down short of the first down. Or he's going to be very close. He's very close to the first down. Oh, he is. They spotted that. I mean, they spotted it extremely close. In fact, the way they spotted that ball, didn't they have the first down? They might. Yeah, you can tell by the roar of the crowd that Gordon gets the first down. I think it would make the difference there. He held out the football leg right? and he dove out. You know, if he would have tucked that football in, which is really the safer thing to do. But hey, you're the you're in the fourth quarter with three minutes to go in the championship game. You forget about safety. You hold the football. That is so hard to do if you're falling down not to want to break your fall with your hands. But he did, and he held the football out, that got the first down. Longhorn stay alive. First and 15 from the 26. Costilla, out of a tight formation, wants to throw the ball. Has Tom Arena in the corner of the end zone. It's in. Oh, what an incredible play. And Sizemore is off to attempt the two-point conversion. There's the snap. It's a fake. He's going to toss it into the end zone. He has it. And what a championship it is. There's the Wayne Ray on the kickoff. It's a low liner. It's fumbled by Whitherell at the seven yard line, but picked up. And now with some room on the outside, it's number seven for Whitherell, but he's brought down at the 30, all side by Joe Costilla. And that's a good thing because he has some real estate down the sideline. He sure did. And Costilla brought him down by the back of the back and pulled him down by sheer strength. You can feel the chill. You can feel the chill in the air right now. And like not temperature. Several thousand fans here to watch the finale of the season for six-man football in the state of Texas. Win Harrell, located near Level Land in the Lubbock area against the Gordon Longhorn. First and 15, Lopez in a tight formation. Pitches it back to Rogers. He's trying to fix the room. He's tackled after a pickup of about six yards. And time is certainly a factor now. Two minutes and 45 seconds to go. And you would have to believe that Gordon cannot let Whitmerrill get a first down. The Longhorns have brought themselves back from near oblivion in the third quarter and in the fourth quarter. Second and a long nine. Lopez. Gordon Longhorn defense right there. 
epidemic. If they can't stop with Harold, the game will be over with. And with Harold, will push this ball game.